heavyweight collision between Curtis Razorblades and the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. All right, so here is the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. It wasn't all that long ago that he beat Alexander Volkov, had won nine of 10, and earned a title shot against you in New York City. Derek Lewis back on the grind here tonight. Derek Lewis is a beast and one of the strongest guys that I have ever felt inside of the octagon. Every time his punches land, you can feel this unbelievable thud up against your head, in the body, and everything he does, it is just absolute power. He's a very, very good athlete, as he shows, with these double kicks that he always likes to throw up. Derek Lewis, when you win nine out of 10 fights, you're a monster. And he is on paper one of the more prolific knockout artists this division historically has ever seen. The Black Beast, ready to get back to it here tonight. All right, so here is the heavyweight contender, Curtis Razor Blades, Juco National Champion at Harper College as a collegiate wrestler, and he has been one of the more prolific takedown artists this heavyweight division has ever seen. Yes, he's a very big, very strong, very skilled wrestler, but don't sleep on the hands yeah. of Curtis Blades. In the Justin Willis fight, you saw the wrestling set up the overhand right that put Willis down, and you've seen that from Curtis Blades, a guy that's so good at that one skill that it opens everything else up. Curtis Blades is a beast in the heavyweight division. He was massively disappointed that that Francis Ngannou rematch didn't go his way, but to your point, turned around quickly, beat Justin Willis, and got right back on that path to contention. We'll see how it goes for Curtis Blades here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Lewis is six years his senior. Blades weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds, fighting out of Houston, Texas, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting! Out of the red corner, this man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Curtis Racer. All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands and all protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, do not fight. Anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Left hand punch in the clinch. 
All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just then. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as... opponent to get up and when he does he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Good movement by him here transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Got to be careful on bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. I need you to fight out of that. And there it is. from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 12 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, contest. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.